Okay, let's now look at the gravitational constant, um, G. Where does, where does this come from? How is it applied? We've already seen Newton's law of gravity states that a, the gravitational force of object w 1 with mass 1 on object 2 is proportional to the product of their masses and is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between those two objects. Okay, we've already seen that. But now we can say that all that we were saying before is that that gravitational force is proportional. But now by including this gravitational constant, we can say that it's equal to that same quantity multiplied by the gravitational constant. Okay, G. But we'll get back to G in a minute. Now they ask this question, <clears throat> where does this, this idea of mg come from? This is, a, this is a general, a universal law between any two objects, right? This is the universal gravitational law between two objects. But where does mg come from? We say that fg equals mg. Where does, where does this come from? We'll see if you can answer that before looking. But we're going to look at that now. Say now, one of these objects is Earth, and the other object is any arbitrary object of mass M0 near Earth's surface. Can you see? So there's the one object, there's, which is Earth, and the other one is, is your ruler, it's your shoe, it's you. Okay? And it's equal to G, the gravitational constant, mass of Earth, mass of the object, divided by the radius squared. And what we see is that because, so now that's the Earth, and here's the object, and that is the radius of the Earth, and that is little a little height, right? And so we see that the radius between uh, the distance between the center of the Earth and the object is, for all practical purposes, the radius of the Earth. hope that makes sense. Then this radius here becomes the radius of the Earth. And if we combine, if we combine G, M, the mass of the Earth, and the radius of the Earth into one quantity. This quantity here, g, mass of Earth divided by the radius of the Earth squared, represents the acceleration of the object due to the force of gravity. Okay? And so this here is simply g. So if you rewrite this guy, this then becomes m. G, where G, which is that, that 9.8 that we know so well, is simply this quantity there. Okay? So because G, the mass of the Earth, and the radius of the Earth are all constant, the law of gravity does indeed give a constant acceleration near the surface of the Earth. Okay? So F, G equals mg. Now we know where that g has come from. Okay?